What's up, Bonnet family? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take brought to you by Camilla's Golf Club and our good friends over at Stumbling Monkey Brewing Company. Ugly? How else do you describe this? I'm also not surprised because this is who the Bonnies are at this point of the season. Uh, they get thumped at LaSalle. I mean, this game was absolutely ridiculous right from the beginning. A double-digit deficit at halftime, 72-59. to 59, They end up losing. This, to me was a no recognition game. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is from the offensive end and from the defensive end, there was no recognition of anything on the basketball court. You think about, and, and these are in no particular order of importance, time, it doesn't matter. The amount of stupid plays and no recognition for where you are on the court and the fact that it's late February is absolutely embarrassing. I mean, think about the play with what, just under six minutes to go in the first half. What did we have? We had a play where Daryl Banks with five seconds to go on the shot clock dribbles into the area of the free throw line and he still has the ball with a couple seconds to go. He then passes it to Venning to the right, a bounce pass, which would have been really nice if there were 10 seconds, 12 seconds on the shot clock, but there were only two seconds, one second, and it's a shot clock violation. Like no recognition, right? No recognition whatsoever. The time is up and then LaSalle gets the ball. That's just one of a million awful, stupid, no recognition plays in this game. Daryl Banks should have easily recognized the shot clock, pulled up and shot the basketball. He misses, you still get a chance to rebound the ball, right? That's one of them. How about Cairo Luke in the second half, just completely going into the same area on the other end and then throwing the ball away. You have a situation where, you know, Adams Woods throws it behind a guy. Um, it's just a million different things that happen in this basketball game. Um, turnovers galore, bad shots, you know, galore, um, just terrible recognition across the board, uh, turning the ball over at, at inopportune times. And it's amazing because they only had 10 turnovers, but boy, did it feel like a lot more. But it was like the recognition of things, right? Like, where is where are people on the floor? You know, people aren't getting open. I got a couple golden retrievers battling behind me, by the way. So it, it was just brutal. You know, the recognition for rebounds, you know, off, off the glass, offensive, defensive, you name it. It was just absolutely out of control. Uh, this team just did not have any idea of what to do uh, anywhere uh, on the basketball floor at both ends. You know, they 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 shot 17 threes. They made six of them. Uh, bad shot selections across the board. Um, you know, they didn't get anything really out of Adams Woods. I thought that was a big problem in pride. Only eight points combined. Um, I didn't see the effort crash in the glass like I had seen the last couple of games as well. And, you know, basically um, you know, LaSalle had uh, Shepard, you know, do whatever he wanted on the basketball floor. So this was a, a game that was predictable it was easy to see. Again, defensive recognition as well. I mean, there's guys passing uh, the ball at will on LaSalle and, and, and doing whatever they, they want with them. Um, at, want with the, the bond of defense. You know, they're passing it uh, wherever they want it. There's alley-oops galore. Uh, there's missed assignments in the middle of the floor. Um, Bonnies are getting there late. There, there's just no help defense. I can't even tell you the amount of times on offense, and I'll close with this, where Chad Venning or whoever has the ball here and does not see the blind side, you know, help the other way, right? I mean, how many times did we see that? It didn't matter what player it was, Adams Woods, Pride, whoever. And again, only 10 turnovers for Bonham, but boy, it felt like a lot more than that. But the recognition just wasn't there. Shot clock violations, turnovers, um, not you know seeing the ball go up and not you know going up for the rebound. They get out-rebounded by six, but that felt a lot more uh, as well. They get out-assisted. Uh, LaSalle stole the ball seven times. So it was just not a good recognition game for St. Bonaventure whatsoever on both ends of the floor. And that's what I took away the most. No rec recognition game here. And when you get, you know, I mean, the you know, Semvis has been playing well lately. He's been shooting some major threes. But when you get 11 points out of three starters, uh, three of which you really are counting on at this time of year, you're going to struggle. And then when the entire team has a, a lot of trouble just recognizing plays, recognizing when shots go up, uh, recognizing when LaSalle is, is simply running a back cut, um, you know, Venning holding the ball and not seeing blindside uh, help uh, the other way, Adams Woods throwing it behind guys, um, I, you know, shot clocks at five and, and, and you pass the ball with one second to go. I, I just... It's just amazing. I mean, we're almost in the month of March, and this was an at LaSalle game where, you know, Bonaventure had just come off of, 
you know, what we've been talking about, you know, the up and down consistently inconsistent team. Can you find it? Can you get something going? They win two games in a row and now boom, they look literally out of it. And they look like, I thought they looked like an elementary school playing against LaSalle. LaSalle is such a joke of a program as well. I mean, you look at the facilities, the gym, uh, you know, the losing seasons over and over. I know the tradition kind of hells from 50, 60 years ago, but this was a disaster for St. Bonaventure on the road. But I'm not surprised because this is who they are at this point. They're a 500 team in the A-10. They're 16 and 10 overall. They were supposed to be at least three to five wins better right now. And they have four games at UMass, Loyola at home, at GW, home for St. Louis. We're about a game away from my place in the season to see if they can figure something out. But again, from looking at this, simple fundamental plays, no recognition whatsoever on both sides of the floor and getting blown out at LaSalle, a team in the A-10 that right now is 13-14 and 14 and 13th in the conference. Blown out. Tells you everything this year, right? It's just one more ugly stain on the season that shows you exactly how much this team has underachieved in only in New York. Mike Lindsley with you here. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Camillo's Golf Club and Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed the tap dancing by two 85, 90 pound golden retrievers behind me. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.